everyone and welcome to my channel. I haven't filmed in a while and that is because I don't know if you chose or if you can hear it on camera. I've been a little bit sick and I've been a little bit busy so um, I haven't filmed. But today I'm filming two videos for you and this is the first one. Today I'm going to film my um, eight products that I think are worth the hype. Basically these are eight products that are hyped up on the social media world, either on blogs or on YouTube or in any other place that people might rave about products and um, I just agree with that. I just think that these products are in fact absolutely fantastic and just amazing and I think that you should totally try them out. So I have picked up four um, high-end makeup products and four drugstore products and I've tried to choose like one product out of each brand. So basically I don't have like redundant brands and I haven't picked out for Guerlain products or I haven't picked up like for, I don't know, Rimmel products. I don't actually think that I have any Guerlain products just because I think that you already know how I feel about this brand. So I chose other brands that I haven't talked about as thoroughly as I think I have about Guerlain. So yeah, let's start out with the high end. The first product that I absolutely adore and I highly, highly recommend is MAC um, Paint Pot, Prolonged Wear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. There is Soft Ochre and there is um, Painterly. Painterly is a little bit more pink toned, so if you have a pink undertone to your skin, you might actually think that Painterly might work better for your skin. But since I am more yellow toned, I just adore Soft Ochre. I use it as a base underneath all of my eyeshadows. I use it on its own sometimes if I don't want to have any eyeshadows on my eyes. Just taken out the discoloration on my eyelid and just make it look more even out. And it also makes my eyeshadow more, um, you know, poppy and it makes it pop just a little bit more and it also prolongs the wear of it. So I just absolutely, absolutely adore it and I use it almost like on a daily basis as long as, long, as, long as I'm wearing makeup. So yeah. That is the first product. The second product is going to be my Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Palette in the Vintage Vamp. I don't actually think that many people talked about the Vintage Vamp, Vamp in particular, but more about like the Dolce Vita or Sophisticate and the Golden Use, the Golden something else, the Golden something. Um, but I just think that Charlotte Tilbury palettes are really beautiful. My personal favorite happens to be the vintage uh, band because I mean look at my eyeshadows today I just love these shades the red tone shades right here are just incredible the quality is really really good it does have fallouts and it's not absolutely perfect the glitter is kind of crappy but in general the quality of the three shades that I absolutely think I would use on a daily basis basically the prime the enhance and the pop are in or is it, well, is it actually smoke? I'm not sure. The, like this shade right here. Which one is it? Is it smoke or is it pop? I think it's smoke. I don't like the glitter. I like the smoke and enhance and prime. I think that is the correct order to them. Anyway, um, it's just so beautiful. The quality is really, really incredible. As I said, it's not completely flawless, but it's still good enough that it deserves all the hype that it gets. I really, really like it, and I just think that it's one of the best products in the universe. Well, in the eyeshadow universe. Does that make any sense? Hope it does. Next would be Mirror Luminizer by The Bomb. I don't know where this has been all my life. I was looking for a, you know, great, oh my god, it broke. Uh, I kind of knew that it would happen. It completely broke just because the powder is incredibly soft that it's very breakable. I'm gonna fix it. It it happened to me before with the Charlotte Tilbury from Star Bronze and Glow. Um, but still the powder itself is beautiful. It's not a powder that I would recommend traveling with just because it's incredibly soft. I knew that it would it would break and I'm not surprised that I'm not like disappointed. I had a feeling that this would happen to me. But anyway, it's just so freaking beautiful. It's very, very intense. I mean, you can't you can't apply this and make it look natural because it's that pigmented and it's that potent and it's that obvious. It's not particularly glittery as in, you know, chunks and awful, awful glitters, but it just gives like this 
glow that you can see from the moon it's just incredible and I really really like it I need to fix this because it broke on me but still I love it nonetheless and the final product that I think is completely worth the hype from the drugs from the high end our world is the Dior Lip Glow in I don't think that these have numbers or names but this is the Dior Lip Glow and it's just the best everyday lip product that I've tried in my entire life. I think I like it better than the Clarence Instant Light Natural Lip Perfectors and that's saying a lot because I love these. But this is just that little bit better. There's something about this that I like a little bit more. Maybe it's the fact that it gives my color, my, my colors, it gives my lips such a kind of, I just ate a strawberry kind of tint. I just really really love this product. It's very moisturizing and it's very comfortable on the lips. I just, I adore it. And yeah, that's all I have to say on the topic. Next would be drugstore products. For drugstore products, I'm going to start out with um, this one right here. This is the Bourjois Healthy Balance um, 10 Hours Matte Finish and Natural Healthy Glow Powder. Everyone talks about this lately and for such a good reason. This is what I have on my face today I don't actually have foundation. I only have concealer and I have this powder on It's it's really really good especially for the summer I wouldn't use this in the winter because it does mattify my skin a little bit too much But in, in the summer it just gives my Skin that I'm not sweaty, but I'm luminous kind of look so I really really like it. It's very natural and finely milled. It doesn't look like it's caking up in the skin and makes you look like you your skin is practically, I don't know, a desert lamp or something because some matte powders tend to make my skin look like a desert lamp. But this one doesn't. I really really like it and it's very very easy to use as well. For more drugstore products, I have the, um, what's this? The Rimmel Scandalize. Is it standardized? No. Like the Rimmel Waterproof um, Nude Eyeliner. I think it is standardized. I can't tell because... Yeah, it is standardized. Waterproof Cold Gel in the shade 005 Nude. If you want a nude eyeliner to put inside your waterline, that's just going to look, make your eyes look more wide, wide open and awake. And it would actually last throughout the day. This is a fantastic one. It's very, very reasonably... I think it was about four dollars or something from Filinique. I this is where I buy Rimmel products because we don't have Rimmel anymore in Israel. And even when we had Rimmel in Israel, we didn't have this line of liners. This line of liners, very very cute. Anyway, so yeah, it's very long lasting. It's very creamy and very very opaque. And the color isn't like too stark and white and unnatural. It looks very natural and it does give the effect that you want a nude liner to give to your eyes so I really really like it and um, more for the uh, drugstore we have obviously my beloved um, L'Oreal Infallibles I have a lot of them but I chose my four favorite ones that I just if I had to minimize the number of L'Oreal Infallibles these, these are the ones that I would actually keep I have Hourglass Beige which is just a beautiful inner corner sort of highlight I have Sahara Treasure, which is like a um, silver, taupe, golden, khaki green. I know I just kind of, you know, told you that this is pretty much all the colors in one, but it kind of is very complex and beautiful. Glistening Garnet, which is like a purple, red, pink. It's just amazing. And finally, we have Amber Rush which is this gorgeous go rose gold sort of color, really stunning. I can't believe I waited this long to actually have it. And I, I'm i just obsessed with these. I think that the formula is beautiful. They are incredibly long lasting, incredibly pigmented. You can actually apply them with your fingers or with a brush, with whatever you know utensil or tool you would like. They work stunningly freakingly, amazingly, everything with an L-Y, basically an adverb, to just describe how amazing these things work. They are just incredible. And finally, for drugstore products, I have the Hermel Chubby 
the Revlon Chubby Stick um, Lip Products. I have the matte balms and the just a bit invisible blonde stains. There's also a lacquer balm. I just don't think that I absolutely need it because I don't think that I need any more finishes when it comes to you know chubby sticks. I have the matte ones. I have the matte one in sultry and in showy, which is the one I have on my lips right now. I know I'm wearing pink, like. It's very strange, but I kind of like this one. I don't know. Do you think that it suits me? Ugh, I don't know. Please let me know. Anyway, and I also have two just bit in, bit in kissable warm things. I have Rendezvous and I also have Cherish. And these ones are just amazing. I love the way they feel on the lips. I love the minty sort of scent slash taste that they have. They're incredible and I really really like them. They are very comfortable and moisturizing. They've never dried out my lips and they always 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 deliver beautifully. So yeah, I adore them and this basically concludes all of the products that I think are worth the hype. If you have any products that you think are worth the hype that I haven't tried out or mentioned in this video, please leave it in the comments bar down below. I would love to know. And uh, what else? I'll see you all in the very next video I think. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like, and yeah, bye.